three of the last four games defending the three point line. Uh, they're coming in different ways, pick and roll, um, you know, whether it's a handler pulling up, isolation situations, our coverage spots, but just having that urgency to, you know, get to shooters. And whether guys are runoff or not, after he's made a few, um, make the adjustment, we have to follow through with that and get them off the line. Any common thread with the turnovers? Uh, you know, some of it is the pairings and guys who haven't played really, you know, a lot together. Some of them are careless, but you're not going to win too many nights if you, you know, you turn it over and give up 33 points, you know, off those turnovers. You're in for a rough night. Wes, with kind of those weird pairings and different rotations, when you go back and look at the film, what will you be kind of keying in on to see what you can take away from this one? Um, I hope to see, uh, you know, at least us trying to, you know, get to our spots and, and run offense, you know, correctly. Didn't feel like it, but, you know, once again, it's not, I'm not going to blame guys for not feeling comfortable playing different positions, um, having two traditional bigs out there, Gaff and, and Vern, obviously late. Jordan and uh, Cash, so I'm not, I'm not overly concerned with that. Um, but we did have a good start in the first half. I think we had, um, you know, ten of our assists. Second half, we we struggled. Now, once again, that's making some shots. But I thought we, you know, in that ball movement or, you know, movement with purpose wasn't what it needed to be. And then, of course, how nice was it to see Rui kind of doing what he's been doing despite all of everything else being different? Yeah, I mean, especially in the first half, when you hit a. Pretty good half, 18, I think, for the half. Um, he, he continues to, you know, be a bright spot and play at a high level, especially on the offensive end. Wes, given that the team sat two of its key veterans and that this is the next to last game and you, the team is eliminated from the play in, how tough is this to keep players' attention and to coach in a game like this? Uh, I mean, it's not hard for, for me. I mean, I think you, you still got to do your job. Um, you know, and our job is to prepare them to play and, and get them ready, organized. Um, you know, some of it is the, you know, the different lineups, the different combinations, that, that's part of it. But um, it shouldn't keep us from, you know, uh, rebounding the ball or, you know, shouldn't keep us from getting back in transition defense. Those things are, that, those are givens. They should be. Um, and we, we didn't do a very good job in those two areas. But, um you know, I think it's a challenge, maybe maybe for some players. And it, it seems meaningless to them, but it, it's not. It matters, and it, it's a great opportunity for some young players to get out there. Um, it's a challenge because, you know, you might be at a deficit when you're not used to playing with certain guys or you're not organized or familiar with certain things, but they certainly shouldn't affect effort. Um, and uh, so, so uh, you got one game to play, and I think it's a, a valuable. Those minutes are valuable opportunities for guys to get out there. I know you're going to focus in when you review the film and focus in on individual people, but what's your initial, not even initial take, what's your take on Isaiah Todd as to who he might become a player? Well, I mean, it's been a small sample and it's, it's hard. I think, you know, you get thrust out there and you know, the three, the four, you know, just trying to figure it out. I think, um, you know, just slow, he slowed down compared to where he was early in the year, which I think is a positive. Um, you know, he had a good little stretch late, but I think it's uh, important for him to just continue to just play with effort, get up and down the floor. He's got to guard his position, obviously rebound at a better rate, um, and then just be more decisive. You know, I think we've seen that at times with, with Denny and Rui. The speed of the game, I think, is part of it, but, you know, make those quick decisions. If you're open, I think he's a good enough shooter. Uh, we have confidence in him to step up and make shots. Um, and if you're not, you move it or you, you drive it and create a shot for someone else. Christos? Hello, Coach. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how, how important for you personally to see the development of Rui, of Danny on the floor on offensive end especially? What, what did, you, did you see about their development? Throughout the season? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen quite a bit. Um, you know, some of that is the, you know, the, the speed and the pace, the physicality of the game. Um, I think they're in a better place than, than they were. Uh, we've seen Denny you know, expand his game with more ball handling. You know, I think we all looked at him in that, in that light. Um, he's had more opportunity to do that. The key is, as your usage rate goes up, you know, you have to make sure you minimize the turnovers. And that, that's, a, you know, another area of growth for him. Teams are now starting to, you know, push him to his left hand. He's going to have to figure that out. So, um, it's, you know, the fact that they're keying in on him means that 
they know he's efficient in certain areas and they're trying to take a strength of his away. Um, so all that, that's great because it's growth. Um, you know, the defensive component, I think he's had great moments this year. You know, uh, Rui as well. We've seen him grow, obviously expanding his game with the three-point shooting. Um, you know, even in the last month or so, just his, you know, the quick decisions that we've talked about. We've seen that uh, be an area of, of growth. So uh, all in all, I think it's been positive for both guys. Uh, you, you can put Corey in that, that ba basket as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm really proud to see where they are. And, you know, obviously we, we expect, you know, you know, the big step for them next season. And also playing without, uh, without Brad, without Kuz, without KCP and uh, Chris Stapps, how, how satisfied you are about the approach of the rest of the, of the team, about your, the other players that uh, step on the floor? And how, how satisfied you are about the way that take, uh, take advantage of the chance to play on the floor? Well, I think that's the big key. I mean, we talked at length, you know, probably over the last 20 plus games, you know, with, with this group and, and they understand the value of those moments. Um, you don't, you don't practice a lot this time of year and, and for guys to, you know, look past the, you know, these moments and, or, you, you know, consider them meaningless is, um, is unwise. You get a great opportunity to get out there in real time, um, you know, play in a competitive game when it matters. Um, and whether you win or lose, you're still creating good habits. And I, I think that's, you know, the bottom line, it's been what we tried to do all year, try to create and continue to build on good habits, you know, and eventually those habits become your culture. How hard is it to manage a game like that where rotations are different and pairings are different and everything is kind of out of whack? Um, I mean, it's hard, uh, but you just got to try to stay locked in and, you know, just play basketball. Um, both teams are in the same situation, you know, not playing everybody. Um, I haven't played for, for a while, and, and I think uh, – even when I was playing, I, I didn't used to play straight minutes like I did today. So I was <laughs> I was pretty tired. But um, you just got to try to find energy, try to find, the uh, you know, just trying to have fun. I think that's the most important thing, because when you just, you know, if you start thinking about the summer and we only have two two games to go and think about other things, that's when you kind of, you know, are wasting your time on the court. And uh, it's a it's a hard league. You never know. How many games you're gonna be able to play? So uh, for me, it was just trying to enjoy and you know and you know have fun playing. Um, speaking of kind of the progress <coughs> and the rotation, everything like that, what was the key for you tonight to still come out and kind of be just as productive as you usually are? You know, I had even though I I was tired from like physically, I had a lot of energy inside of me to play. You know, because I mean that's what I love to do, and and I haven't been able to to do it uh, the past I don't know how many games. So I think that was just uh, me, like I said, you know, once you step on the court, I was just trying to have fun and trying to uh, produce the way the way I could. You know, I play uh, with Ish in the more in the two position, kind of like what I did last year. And, and uh, you know, sometimes I enjoy being able to just think about scoring and think about the offense and think about uh, not have to think about putting guys in, in a situation, calling plays. So I was just trying to enjoy and uh, use the time on the court uh, that I had. I know you guys have one game left, um, but this might be the last time we get to talk to you this season. Just what, what have you thought about the year that you've had overall? Uh, you know, it was a, a lot of different things. Uh, I mean, starting with the new team we had coming, coming up this season, um, new coaching staff, uh, it was a lot. Uh, a lot of things that we had to adapt, you know, different way to play, different players playing with uh, on the court. And, uh, but overall, I think uh, individually for me, it was, it was good. You know, I played a lot of minutes. Um, I think I did what it was expected for me. Um, you can just play well every time. So I also had some bad games sometimes where it was hard to find a way uh, after the trade and after the all-star break when we had this, um, I think uh, some games that we should have won and we didn't and me being the starting point guard, um, you know, it's, it's tough to, to uh, look back and, and kind of, even if I play well, if the team didn't win, uh, I don't think, uh, I don't, I can't see the positive side of this, but I think honestly, uh, I, I did my best. Um, with uh, the the things that was given to me and um, the way 
uh, I had to play the way they wanted me to play. And um, and as far as our team, I think we we're not happy with you know not making to the playoffs. Uh, even more after the the way we started, <clears throat> we thought we could have done a lot better. But you know, this basketball it's a long league. It's a it's a long race. It's not a, just a sprint. And we had a great sprint at the beginning, but then on the long race we we couldn't uh, hold up to it. But um, honestly, I, I try to always look at the positive side. And it was a, a season that I stayed healthy the whole season. You know, uh, even though um, some parts of the season with back to backs, you feel tired, you feel a little pain here and there. But um, I think I. I missed one game because of my shoulder at the beginning of the, the year and that was it. So I'll take the I'll take that and um like I say I did my best and uh um I try to stay with the positive of the of, of the season. What will, just what will you emphasize this off season? You know, uh, I always try to get better. You know, uh, I didn't have a, a great shooting season this season, and uh that's one thing I want to focus on, you know, just get my rhythm back and get my, um, you know, my feeling to, uh, to shooting the ball better. I think that's something if I improve for, for next year, that could be uh, huge for me. Cause when you're making shots from outside, uh, everything opens up and, um, and again, uh, it's a long, long off season that I'm going to try to, uh, uh, get my, my body right and work on my body for, for next season. It's it's been challenging for me. Uh, I didn't have summer last year. Uh, went throughout the season, you know, not missing a game on the roads, you know, feeling bad, feeling sick, you know, a lot, a lot of things went into it. And uh, it's an emotional roller coaster, especially um, throughout the year. Um, but I think I made a, a step, a big step. Uh, I matured. I've learned every day. I got better every day, and I think that's that was my goal that was something that was really important for me and i feel like i did that um i got a lot of stuff to improve a lot of stuff to improve there's a big summer ahead of me um uh, big big next season but uh i'm we're just i'm i'm just uh want to finish the season strong next game hopefully with a win and um yeah just stay humble and keep going Um, the positive that sticks, sticks out to me is like, I think like mentally also like being more engaged, uh, being more aggressive. Um, you know, I was a little shy off the ball a little bit, uh, in the beginning of the year, even last year. So, um, it feels great, man. Playmaking for others, um, uh, making big plays down the, down the stretch and, and hopefully, like, it can just continue and, and you know, the role is going to grow. And, like, hopefully we can bring DC to the place that it belongs. So. Uh, just about the game today, how hard was it to kind of just... They, were, they got going. The threes got going. Um, you know, when they go into paint and, and, and spray the ball and, like, making like in, in a high percentage, like, you know, that's a game changer. That's a game changer. And uh, I feel like uh, the turnover skilled us. Um, um, me personally turned the ball over uh, a couple of times, but um, we had like, I want to say 20 something for like 30 points and that we're not, we're not going to miss, we're not going to uh, win more, most nights with this stat. So just taking care of the ball and like, yeah, the defense, I mean, being more uh, uh, communicate better and um, just be, keep our focus till the end. I can't tell you. I mean, that that's like a handsy team. They pack in the paint. They uh they reaching for the ball, and I feel like um they got us. I mean, we had a lot of open uh, open passes. Yeah, that just got stolen <laughs> or uh, blocked. So um I mean, the idea was good, but like their their defense was pretty solid today. Oh, definitely. Uh, today, even like I got top lock almost every time I'm trying to go off the screen. They, you, they just top lock you and like they they take away the 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 screen, the the me being able to get the ball and and, and create. So like, I mean, there's there's something like you need to know how to uh, get get you going and get the guys going even when you don't get the ball. He's either like moving without the ball, offensive rebound, because uh, they're gonna defend it, and they did. 
Oh, definitely. I got, I got so much stuff to improve and that's what I like. You know, it, it doesn't make me nervous, like to go and really like explore more things in my game and get better. Like, I think I'm doing all this stuff. Okay. And you know, the next step is to do all this stuff good and then better and better. And then like, you know, in, in the end of the day, just do it. Excellent. So, um, I'm very positive. I know what I need to work on. Um, I feel like with my growth and learning and, and getting bigger, it, it'll be even easier. So I can, I can, um, I'm looking forward for the next season and for the summer. Hey, Denny, obviously one of five players in the NBA to play every single game this season is the lowest in NBA history. Is there a sense of pride that you get from that, having that kind of availability for your teammates? Definitely. Uh, me being out there and me being available for every game, for my coaches, for the players, and giving it all, giving it all out every night. Sometimes uh, there's better nights, sometimes there's worse nights, but I'm trying to give my best in each night. And it's not easy, you know, you have your personal life too. You have a lot of stuff going on outside the court sometimes, and it's not, it's not easy to play. Uh, 82 games and like be all the time like on top and focus and and sometimes you need you need like I feel like with mature. Come on, Hollywood, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like sometimes with also being mature is know how to like clear the head and be ready for the game. But I want to give a big shout out to also to um our trainers. They're doing a great job. They're preparing us for every game, and uh, I think our bodies is the most important because. Without it, we, we couldn't have been on the court and playing the high level. So big shout out to them for sure. We'll do last question to Neil. And Denny, not about this game, but on the back-to-back -back couple couple times against Jaden McDaniels and then against Danilo Gallinari, you did the kind of too small celebration, I guess. Where where did that uh, style come from from you? Um. Just in general, I'm, I mean, I don't know. It's just like kind of a, of an inner joke, you know, like, like playing around, you know, taunting a little bit. So I'm like, you know, it's never, it's never bad. You know, also the teammates like laugh about it and like, they love it. So I'm just doing it, you know, but um, no, not, not any specific reason. And then you touched on, you know, you know what you want to work on this off season now that you have, you know, somewhat of a normal off season. What are some of those things that you hope to improve on? In general, as I said, I mean, I think what what's good about it is what what's good about like me is like I I can do a lot of stuff on the court, and I feel like sometimes I'm doing those stuff uh, okay, but my I'm aiming to do it better and be good in, in, in areas that I need to. Um, and just in general, like improve my game, you know, you know, just, just working on it throughout the summer, getting bigger and uh, uh, getting stronger. And uh, that's about it. I understand if this is not something you've thought about at all or decisions have made, but I guess, would you consider playing in summer league? Uh, do you have any interest it, in it's that? Not, it's not my choice and I'm not here to talk about summer league, so.